Hey guys, I'm Maxwell, and today I will be teaching you guys how to make your own outro using GIMP. So first off guys, go open GIMP and go to File and click New. Now the image size depends on the quality of your video. So if you upload your videos in 1080p, then the size of your image has to be 1920 by 1080. But if you upload your videos in 720, then the size has to be 1280 by 720. But I'm going to leave it as it is. So go, uh, click advanced options and then go, f go to fill with and make this transparency, all right? Now click OK. Now to add a gradient to the background, you have to click the blender tool. Then change the color to whatever color you really want. I'm going to go with this and then you can just move around. I'm going to go like that. Now, you can really put anything, you can put any background, you can make any color you want, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna use this. So, to add a um, rectangle box for the video, you have to click this, and make it 426 by 240. So, 426. Uh, now, in the bottom left corner, you can see the rectangle, and then it says the dimensions. So, make that 426 by 240. I'll do that real quick right now. It's actually really Let's hard. Do that, yeah. Here you go. Now to add a um, um, background. Okay, let, I'll just do it right now. So click edit, uh, click stroke selection, and click. Uh, wait, but, but, but before I do that, click this and change the color to black. All right. Click edit, go to stroke selection, and click stroke. Now you can also edit the the size of the uh, stroke by double clicking the pencil and right now it's 8 and 8 is actually a good number you, but you can make this 9 or 10 or whatever you really want so I'm gonna use it like this because the video is gonna be here and I want the, the borders to come out so guys once you make the borders you gotta click the text and then uh, make it like let's say if okay I'll type in previous the previous alright so I'll uh, use the font Cosmic if I can find it. Uh, cosmic, yo 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 Cosmic. All right, and I'll increase the size of the font. Decrease this. All right, looks good. Looking good. Looking good. So to move the text around, you have to be in the middle of this. All right, like once you see that um, icon. You have to, uh, this moving icon, you have to, then you can only move this. Because if you don't, this is what's gonna happen. Yeah, so you don't want that. So I'm just gonna go and find, okay, yeah. So I'm just gonna put this right underneath this. So guys, after that, uh, to add these social media icons, uh, you can use this website. Um, this website, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, so uh, you can just move around and it has like a great variety of icons that you can choose But for this tutorial, I have picked uh, simple flat icons So you click this and it's gonna take you to this page go down And then you're gonna see download this thing. So once you click this it's gonna download as a zip so you Click uh, so you just extract it to any folder you want and then after that guys once you have it in the you know designated folder click open and then you go to the place where you have the where you have the icons so go to flat social media icons so just move around and select the social media icon that you want click open and the icon is going to open up in a new um, gimp you know gimp browser so click that and then uh, copy this by control C and it's gonna say copied pixels to the clipboard if it does not say that then you just gotta click this and then copy control C and then go back to your original browser and then uh, click the rectangle you know tool um, and then control V you're gonna see it appear over here right now you'll notice that you once you take it out it's not you know gonna show you know that don't worry about it so to change the size of the uh, the icon you make this 150 or you can make it 100 depends on whatever size you want I'm gonna make it 150 by 150 yeah it looks good so to um, so now right now you can't really see it 
so you click to new layer and now you know it's in a new layer it's on top of it so once you're you know you got you got this right you got the icon you can just move it around you know I'm just gonna put it over here now I'm gonna add a text I'm gonna add the social media link so I'm gonna do an add extra right so make it big you know, so people can see it right so to move this, just click this. Uh, oh yeah, forgot. Yeah, that that's actually hard, guys. To you always you you always forget. So yeah, once you're done with that, click this and gonna make this the same as the uh, previous one. I'm gonna make it cosmic. So if I can find it, cosmic, cosmic. Where you at? Okay, yeah. Here we go. So you can make it a little big. So yeah, guys and I'll just make it like that get this and align the text with the with the social media icon so it's right in the middle of this so you do the same with the other links so just click for old file open YouTube and then control C and you do the rest so guys after you're done with adding the social links then you can add a, another text over here saying subscribe, subscribe to the channel. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to make the, the font of this text also cosmic. So yeah guys, I guess that's it. Basically. It's kind of easy. I mean, this isn't the best, um, like, best tutorial, but this basically, you know, gets the idea around. I mean, it's it's a GIMP is actually a very very hard way. You know, if there's a big learning curve to it. You know, but once you learn how to, you know, use the thing, it actually does work quite well. But yeah, guys, basically that's how you do it. So guys, if you did enjoy the video, please like and. And if you haven't subscribed already, guys, subscribe. Peace.